This is an ultrasound study of a female pelvis, age 20 years, married three months. Uh, and this is the usually bladder in transfer section. And here you see the uterus in longitudinal section, measuring 6.3 centimeter by 2.8 centimeters. So the dimensions are normal. The endometrial canal, the central equogenic area is the endometrial canal. It is central clear by 5.5 is an early proliferative phase. This is the cervix and this is a cyst with posterior wall acoustic enhancement, internally clear. This is the urinary bladder. Now this is the longitudinal section in which uh, there is uh, an impression of a cyst in the region of the right adnexa. Now following it, I uh, see that the, you can see that the cyst is uh, in fact in the region of the right adnexa. is multi-loculated you see this is cyst number one two three four five so they are multi this is a multi-loculated cyst in the region of the right head in exa which measures in total approximately 7.3 into 4.9 centimeters and this is the urinary bladder this is the cyst, cyst, in the region of the right head in extra, with posterior wall acoustic enhancement. Magnify to see if there is any solid element in it, or any calcification within the cystic area within this cyst. You know, here you see there is a calcified, calcified area and giving, uh, it, this is the calcified area measuring approximately 5.3 centimeter in one of the cysts. And this cyst, yes. this cyst contains internal echoes, fine internal echoes. So this is uh, regarding the cyst that we were seeing in the uh, right at Inexa. Now let's move towards the left side. Now there is again a cystic area seen, a single cyst seen in the region of the left at Inexa relating to the left ovary. And uh, there is evidence of solid solid element within the cyst you know, uh, in the left oh, ovarian retention cyst because the size is 3.5 centimeter by 2.2 centimeter, and this cyst is consistent with retention left ovarian cyst, and this is the outline of the cyst. And here is the ecogenic area, this one measuring approximately 7.5 millimeters within the retention cyst in the region of the left adnexa with the uterus seen normal in transfer section. Here we see. This is the cyst in the region of the left uh, adnexa which relates to the left ovary. 
is a single cyst with a solid ecogenic area seen in the dependent region with my bit with posterior shadowing. This is the shadow, this is the ecogenic area, whole of this is a cyst, this is the outer wall thin and this is the posterior wall acoustic enhancement. Rest above is the uh, urinary bladder. This is a magnified view of the now we come towards the right side again and follow the cyst on the right side. Dependent region echoes seen in the cyst, and there are few septas also seen. So rather saying multi loculated, I will prefer saying that this is a multi septated cyst. Now, this is a, again a second calcification, calcified area. As such, no uh, solid element is seen as we saw in the left uh, retention ovarian cyst. Well, this is an ovarian cyst by definition, but it's septated with echoes within it. And uh, you see, see the echoes, dependent region, temporary echo, this one, these are the debris, this is the debris, this is the calcified area, and the uh, rest are the septas. This is the septa, this septa, these are septas. With a basis. So this is a complicated right ovarian cyst with a calcified, calcified area within it along with a retent, complicated retention right ovarian cyst with a 7.5 mil, uh, millimeter solid ecogenic area within the cyst. So this is a case of bilateral ovarian cyst that are, both are complicated and further evaluation is required. Thank you.